I'm on a quest to find music and art. Supporting local talent is the place I start. Yeah, this is our culture, the place to be. Games, books, arts, and crafts and jewelry. This the guardians of the geekery. 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 And now for today's episode of Guardians of the Geekery with your hosts, Matt, Carol, and Joey. All right, Guardians of the Geekery. So happy that the Geekery market is back for 2024. Saturday, November 9th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. And we've got somebody that they're coming out for their second time, Kat McGill of Leveled Up Geek. And Yay. where what excites you? That perfectly sums up, I, th- I think, what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Welcome yeah, back, coming back Kat. out for my second year. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, I had a great time last year. It was, it was nice because, you know, it's a, it's a smaller show, but it feels like just this family of, of everyone that's there, even being a first time person there, it felt like I was just joining the family. It was great. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, small for you. It's not small for us. (laughs) Sure. No, I didn't mean to like be weird or anything. We did have a couple thousand people come through, but it was a big space. Which is awesome. No, it was so, it was so great. Um, small as in one day show yes yeah 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 That's but okay. it packs it I'm in not picking, it's I'm great picking. yeah so. <laughs> i'm not trying to be rude about your show. <laughs> yeah it is a one-day show so it's come that day or don't come yep. but it is an inside show so it it's rain or shine plenty of parking 2200 parking spaces so lots of room to uh come in and it is 30,000 square feet so we do try to spread it apart so if you're one of these people it's overwhelm or claustrophobic with small spaces. This is not the case. We have 10 foot aisles. We have lots of de-stimming areas scattered around. So if you need to sit down at a table for a little bit, play with Legos, listen to some ambient music, talk to Santa Claus, whatever you need to do, you can do that and then go back to shopping. So so definitely cool. But tell us a little bit about leveled geek, a leveled up geek, and tell us a little bit about what you make and bring, and kind of how you got started in it. So sure, um, yeah, I am celebrating my fifth year as leveled up geek this year. So that's been very exciting, and um, especially seeing has that you know how everything's grown <laughs> for me um, <laughs> over the past five years, and um, yeah, I make. My primary thing that I make is geeky ear cuffs and earrings, but this year I did start branching out into hair accessories as well. Um, so that's been very exciting, kind of broadening out the horizons there a little bit. Um, I My mission is to make things that people can wear as statement pieces. They express parts of their personality. They can be conversation starters, things that... Um, and the, I try to make everything be things that you can't just find in a regular store, even one that caters to a more geek market, um, you can't find my things there. So that's, it it makes it a little more special and a little more exciting for people when they come up and see my booth. And you actually are wearing some of your pieces. I am. I am. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) She's not just a, she's not just a maker. She's a wearer of her own stuff, which is always a good thing. I don't have fun making things that I wouldn't want to wear. So, <laughs> and so you actually have a, a cuff on. And yes, then I do. Yeah. yeah, I've got, it's one of my chained ear cuffs. So it's this cuff up here doesn't require piercing. It can just hook on and then it, I loop it around with some beads. And then I've got a little celestial snake down here. And then on the other side is just the dangly bit. It doesn't have the, the loopy part. So it makes an asymmetrical look. It's kind of fun to wear. Makes a nice little sensory jingly sound in your ear when you're wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> and you also do like D20s and different little pieces. So. Yeah. So, so is it okay to start like showing us? Please order? show us. <laughs> yes. So yeah, um, I make the chain cuff style with my dice as well. Um, it ends up being the full set. So the D20 hangs out on one ear and then you have the other six over on the other ear. And they're very light. It's a very um, lightweight 
um, acrylic that it's made out of. So it doesn't weigh your ear down. They're made out of mini dice. So it's not those great big, you know, regular size ones. <laughs> um, but then I also do a dangly style where it ends up being the full set split across the two ears. And then something that I've started doing that's been really, really popular is um, I've got stud earrings available, these stud posts yeah. with different um, different designs. And then I just put the D20s at the bottom. And I always make sure that the 20 is facing out because a lot of people seem to really, really like that. So <laughs> <laughs> It is important. We want us to actually see the yeah. D20. Yeah, I made yeah. sure that my D20 was over here, had the 20 yeah. face. Oh, thank you. That's right. That that <laughs> <laughs> so, yes we are geeky enough that it's like it's important folks which way it, it is faces. Oh. <laughs> I, I was looking at your etsy site too or earlier and i i hadn't been on there in a while and i like the uh my hair's too short at the moment but i used to have longer <laughs> hair but uh the the hair sticks those are really cool yes. like the swords and different things and uh like you said you really are branching uh branching out so i think that's yes that's i am fun. oh wow so this is where i get to live vicariously through other people because i too do not have the long hair <laughs> but <laughs> i uh i made these um beaded hair sticks with the full set of dice when you wear both both sticks um I do them in several different designs. I've got ones that are more like leaves, these ones that are more like a gold little flower with different sets of dice with them. I do also have swords, which have been very, very fun. Um, Those were beautiful. With these, yeah. I either sell them separately, singly or as a pair. Oh. And um, wow. some people like to buy them as like best friend gifts or as partner gifts, you know, where each one wears yeah. one. And I have told everyone I am not responsible for any duels. That is that's all on you because I've had people threaten with them. And I'm like, listen, that is not on me. We need to peace <laughs> on them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it is. Um, one of the things that we talked about as we were getting ready for the show is um, I, I like to wear different headpieces on yes. the podcast and <laughs> You were like, oh, I've got these new things. And I was trying to figure out, I am really bad at the space buns. I am not <laughs> good at them. <laughs> I, I, I've i had long hair for the majority of my life. But when I was a kid, when you're kind of learning how to do hair, I had, my hairstyle was very similar to yours or shorter, except for I had like the three, I have two really deep cowlicks right here. And uh, so I had, my mom did the perm, like just the bangs perm <laughs> and uh so i did not go through all the little fast you know the hair stuff and i'm i'm learning later in life so i'm still trying to figure all of that out and one of the things that's so interesting to me is when i'm trying to do tiktoks of different things and i want to make my hair look nice and you see all these really cool hair designs for the back of the head i'm like that does me no good <laughs> nobody's going to see it I need stuff for the front. And so I was trying to play around with the sticks before I bought yours, but now I know some ways to do it in the back. So I'll be getting those for the, for the market, but <laughs> I was trying to figure it out for the front and I'm just not, I can't get the space buns to bun <laughs> right. <laughs> I need help. I, need, I am not the girly girl that, that I would like to be. I, I'm just not. So I feel like three older when brothers. I used to have no sisters yeah. to teach me yeah do you have the longer hair <laughs> I used to have longer hair um for quite quite a long time and um my trick because I could never get the sticks to work right either on me I can get them to work right on my friend but I couldn't get them to work right on me um I used to pin my hair in place with with a bunch of hairpins and then put the sticks in <laughs> so it would have the look yes <laughs> that was the only way I could do it yeah um, yeah I, I didn't have those lessons either really so <laughs> I know I was like where was I when the girls were in the bathroom teaching each other how to do their makeup and their hair and their stuff like that yeah, I was clearly, I wasn't there no. I was clearly <laughs> climbing a tree or something because I missed out on that so <laughs> so now tell us a little bit more are there any special things that you kind of do with your I know you talked about the acrylic being really light. Are your posts, you do posts and dangles. Yes. Do I you do have the option? Yeah. 
yeah swap um, those out for allergy and stuff like that so. absolutely so i make sure all of my findings are hypoallergenic stainless steel my ears are pretty sensitive and so i test my findings anytime i get new findings i test them on me to make sure okay well if i'm not reacting to it chances are good most people will not react i mean obviously there are some people that just they have like one specific metal they can wear and that's it but for the most part these are pretty safe for everybody um now i have I have had some people that like, if they have a piercing up here, I do swap out the cuff part for a post that they can then attach to that piercing so they can still wear the design. Um, I do usually bring some clip-on attachments where I can swap out the post part for a clip so that way people can wear them if they don't have a piercing so you at all. Actually, you actually customize right on site then? So right on site, cool. yep. Right. I've had people come up and say, okay, well, I'd like to... Um, get like these dangly ones but could you make a quick cuff to you know a chained cuff to go on there yeah sure i, I always Wait, bring my materials with me i need you to show me those again yes <laughs> those are oh, yeah. absolutely yes adorable so my my glamasauruses um <laughs> And I also have a chained version of these. Very elegant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, I can't do the posts. The posts mm -hmm. stick in a weird part of my neck. So I always have to do the hooks. So knowing that if I came up and saw something that I really liked, that you could swap it out there on site is huge. Mm -hmm. Because. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, if I'm like really swamped at the moment, I'll say, okay, go ahead and pay me for them. I will get it done. You can come back, you can go walk around, come back and pick them up. Um, but usually I can do it pretty quickly, right, right on site for people. Cause ultimately I want you to love what you've gotten. Cause if you get it, but it's like, oh, well, I wish this had been a little different. Well, then you're not going to love it. You're not going to wear it. And then why did you buy it? So I'd prefer people, you know, I can take a few minutes of my time to make sure you love it. That's great. Now we're all happy. Yeah, no, that's amazing. And I think that's one of those things that I love about the fact that you can go to this market and actually meet the people who made the stuff. So they could either modify it there on site or you could do a commission for them and talk with them right there. Um, I definitely try to support small businesses and I've gone on Etsy in different places from people that I've seen on TikToks and different things. And then, you know, there's that great great appreciation for what they're doing but then it arrives and maybe you know three of the pairs are danglies and one are posts and i'm like i can't That's now i do it. have yeah. my friend wanda who does do some earring transformations for me if they're it's pretty easy you know um she can swap things out for me but knowing that if i needed to i could get them swapped on site or customized or absolutely kind of be like hey can i order this which is kind of cool um so also um, so if people wanted to go on your site and look at stuff and maybe order it for that, you know, bestie, the two of them or mm -hmm. whatever, they could actually do that ahead of the show as well. Is that correct? Yes, so. absolutely. Um, yeah, if they, you know, because most of the time, like I'll bring the the majority of my inventory to a show but there may be some things that just aren't fitting in the box that time and they get left well if you don't want to take that chance that something you really really want isn't going to be there go ahead and order it or at least send me a message ahead of time and say hey can you make sure to bring this i'll be at the show yeah sure i'll be happy to do that and i can write down your name so that way you know i make sure i can have it there for you yeah which yeah. is really great because you know we are kind of the first show of the Christmas season. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to knock out some holiday shopping right up front, whatever holiday you celebrate, you could do that. Exactly. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the fun part is you can wander around the show, but you can also pre-order and go pick up from your people, which is also a little more pocket friendly too, because you could pay for yes. it now, pick it up at the show. <laughs> and then, all that out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Well, and then sometimes with my things, I'll make one or two of a design. But if you're really wanting, let's say you want three of a certain design or four or five, if you want all everyone in the group to match, most of the time you're going to have to let me know that. So that way I can make sure I've got my supplies and get that ready. Because I probably won't have that many of a certain design in the certain color there at the show available. But if you contact me, I, I can usually work that out. Oh, no, that's cool. Sure. So ladies, if you are planning for a bridal party or something like that, a gift, you could make sure y'all match or for your holiday photos with Geeky Santa, mm -hmm. you know, because I hear <laughs> he's coming back. 
you could go get your perfect uh, D20 earring cuffs, earring set, and then go over and take a picture with lightsabers with Geeky Santa. And there you have your holiday pictures knocked <laughs> out and everything. So bring your yes. girlfriends, shop <laughs> together. Yeah. Get your whole D and D group in there. <laughs> I get so excited. I swallowed a piece of my hair. I apologize. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of having to put your hair up, so, um, so what are some things that you are bringing to the show that were really popular last time, and what are some new things that you're planning to bring? Um, yeah. Um, well, my dice are pretty much always popular. Generally speaking, no matter what show I do, the dice are always going to move. So definitely bringing those back. I'm also going to be bringing uh, my fairies and moon oh, related celestial things. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, definitely going to be bringing those. Something that is, it's in the same vein as things I was bringing last year. Last year, I did have a collection. Um, it was a collaboration that I was doing with um, an author friend of mine who is actually going to be at the Ge Geekery Market this year, um, Gwenaira, Gwenaira Blythe. Um, I'm not sure if she's scheduled to do any recordings with you or not, but I'm just going to go yet, ahead and shout her out anyways. but you should encourage her to sign up. I will. So. <laughs> I will. Um, so we had done a Greek mythology collaboration last year and so this year we're expanding out because we realized that uh hades and persephone were mega mega popular <laughs> and so oh yeah she yeah. she does the artwork um for the prints and then i make earrings that go along with them so people can buy them as a set or they can buy them separately um so now we've got a in an eight god and goddess pantheon that we've created so <laughs> That's we'll awesome. We'll definitely have those there. Yeah. I love stuff like that. We have um, uh, the artist in the Rooted Dandelion who makes the tea. And she's done some collabs with some authors too, where it's like, you can sip the tea while you're reading the book. And, you know, you can wear the earrings while you're looking at the art and reading the book. I love that kind of stuff. So you can really kind of immerse yourself in that world. So uh, definitely something. Matt, you may have to reopen the hole in your ear so you can wear some of the earrings. <laughs> right. Or I could just get the clasp. Yeah, just... You can just yeah, get the clasp. Yeah. You get the, could just you know, clip. Yeah, clip yeah. it on there. <laughs> I think that would be a good look for you, honey. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. like... <laughs> so if people wanted to find you online, where could they go and look to find you? Yeah, definitely on Etsy at Leveled Up Geek and then also on Instagram. Those are usually... that's that's the social media platform I'm the most active on. I do have a Facebook at Leveled Up Geek as well, but um, that one I don't post on as much. Yeah, it's hard. You kind of have to pick and choose your media those yeah. days. It's kind of like how many additional add-ons on your cable are you going to have? <laughs> you just, you can't, you, it, this is not Pokemon, folks. We cannot do them all. We try. <laughs> we try. But I am not a Snapchatter. I'm a TikToker. And whatever I do on TikTok, I try to remember to go and share on Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. afterwards. But if you want to see it first, it's usually on TikTok first. So, or on our website, you know, like the longer versions of stuff. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit difficult, but leveled up geek and it is leveled with an leveled. ED. Yes. Leveled up geek because you've already leveled just by going to find <laughs> her. So um, you get XP points for that right off the bat. So <laughs> make sure you go and do that and check it out. And if there's something you really like, you can either buy it now. What are some shows that you might be doing between now and November yes. if people want to come and check out your stuff? Absolutely. So I will be doing Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville. That'll be in the beginning of July. And then um, mid, well, I think it's actually towards the end of August. I'm going to be doing Soda City Comic Con in Columbia. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll be doing South Carolina Comic-Con Junior in October in Greenville. And then the Geekery Market. Yay! Yeah. So, <laughs> so you're just going to be kind of circling around a little bit. Circling so. around. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kat, it's always so lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming on today and for being a part of it. We look forward to having you back at the Geekery Market. Definitely check out her stuff, Leveled Up Geek. And uh, make sure to stop by and see her at all of the events coming up, but especially at the Geekery Market. And uh, we'll have to make sure Gwineria is close to you, too, so you people can kind of see <laughs> your stuff together. That would be awesome. But uh, thank you so much, and we'll have a good day.
Thank you. That was an episode of Guardians of the Geekery. Thank you for listening. Check us out at guardiansofthegeekery.com and stay tuned for more content.